Welcome to the Note to Self podcast. I'm your host, Zoe Ariel, an adventurous entrepreneur who loves to make the most out of life. I'm a certified professional life coach, digital course creator, verified YouTuber, and published author. On this podcast, you can expect actionable tips, reflections, and inspiration to live your best, most fulfilling life. So let's get started. Hello angels, welcome back to Note to Self. In today's episode of Note to Self, I'm going to be sharing with you the exercise that completely transformed my dating paradigm, my dating or relationship paradigm. So at the time of recording this podcast, in the past few weeks, I have found myself in a deeper level of healing than I've ever found myself before, meaning it's been denser, it's been darker, it's been scarier in ways. But you know, what always comes with new territory in healing is new levels of abundance and prosperity and all the good stuff. So let that just be a little reminder that yes, times have been turbulent right now you know we're passing through all these planets being in retrograde and whatever else is happening in the world but just trust your journey trust your process and know that if you find yourself in new territory get ready for new abundance new highs on the other side it's all coming for you it is inevitable you will bloom again you will feel into new levels of yourself new levels of empowerment and abundance and that is truth so A couple of weeks ago, I found myself, like I said, in a denser, darker, scarier place than I've ever been. And I shared in a recent episode about how I didn't even know what my next step was. Normally, I can logically think my way out of things, create an action plan to get myself out of a funk and be on with it. But I didn't know what my next steps were to hold space or create the shift that I was desiring. And What I did was I was going down to the beach every single day and just swimming in the ocean, asking and intending for cleansing from Mama Bali, Mother Earth, to please wash away the heaviness, the density, what I was feeling. So I always recommend that. Nature is always so incredibly healing and so is the power of intention. Intention is your superpower. So I was intending for healing and I was down at the beach one day and I brought my Kindle along and I was reading this book. I believe it's called Be It Until You Become It by Natasha Garciano. And in the book or the part that I was reading at that time, she was talking about manifesting love and manifesting the divine partnership or basically just the relationship of your dreams. And she expressed an exercise, which is creating a list about that specific person that you're desiring to create in your life. And so I'd done this before and this idea of creating the list, like it's definitely probably something that a lot of you have heard of, but for me specifically in my life, I've only done this once before and it's when the exercise crossed my path via a story from two people that I met very synchronistically and very magically that prompted me to create that list for myself. And perhaps you're listening to this episode right now and you're like, hey, you know what? This exercise is starting to resonate. Maybe this is a sign that you need to shift and transform your paradigm when it comes to dating and relationships. So like I said, I was in a dense place. This dense place that I was in before I went to the beach was very much one of, am I going to be alone forever? Like, does this person even exist? Like, why has God's source universe withheld love from me for so long? Like, what's wrong with me like I don't think there's anything wrong with me I've really worked through that understanding that I am divine and I am unique and like but why why isn't it here yet what's going on or why does it sort of feel like this cosmic joke that the more that I work on myself the more that I found crickets in my life in the dating world (laughs) and so I was a little bit resentful you know I was a little bit feisty at source I was upset I was feeling all kinds of ways and I was very much in disbelief that it would be possible for me to attract the person that I desire to attract in my life as my divine partner. So I decided that as I read this about creating the list, I thought back to that one time in my life where I was prompted to make the list. And let me tell you guys, I'm going to be linking a YouTube video down below. I think it's like my longest YouTube video ever. I think it's like 45 minutes or something. (laughs) Maybe we'll just say 44. I had written a list about this individual and I had even named them. 
And the name that I chose was a very unique name and not a common name, not a name that I'd heard of before in my life, a couple of times maybe, but like it was rare is what I'm saying. And I named this person and just two months later, I met this person. I met this list. I kid you not, you guys, it was one of the most profound conscious creation experiences of my life to like actually write this list to a T, meet that person and have them have that name. Like I literally just felt like that entire experience with that person was the divine like winking and nudging at me. And so I was like, you know what? It's been a while. It's been years actually since I created this list. And so I'm going to do it. So I pulled out the notes on my phone. And even though I was in complete disbelief that it could be possible that this person exists. I started to write into those 100 things about this person, about a relationship, about the things that we would do together, how that relationship would feel. And you might be sitting there thinking 100's a lot or 100's maybe not that much. I just let it flow. And let me tell you that when I just let it flow, it was like I was channeling from my future self. It was such a powerful experience for me because after I was reflecting on these 100 things about this person, I was like, there's so much familiarity with here. I could feel it in my entire body. And like I said, this experience of channeling the future self, it felt like I already know this person. That of course this person is walking around breathing because where does that level of familiarity come from? It comes from tapping into my future and trusting and knowing that this person exists, that this person is is out there so i went from going down to the beach being like this person doesn't exist i'm giving up i'm gonna ask mama bali for cleansing to writing this list leaving the beach walking up all the stairs being like he's out there i'm actually very excited to meet him and it was a huge shift because it was a shift in my core energy at the core there had been a disbelief that this person exists right and then naturally a lot of narratives were stemming from that but in going to the possibility opening up to the possibilities choosing expansion versus contraction feeling into my future trusting that that of which i desire will be made manifest because it is because those things that are on our desires they're always safe guidance they're leading us towards what's next And choosing to honor that and create and cultivate this list allowed for me to shift everything at that core level. And I've shared this exercise with a couple of clients of mine recently and they've done this exercise and they have received results in their external reality almost immediately. And let me tell you, I did too. So a few days later, I found myself being spontaneously asked out for dinner by a gentleman. And I had an amazing time with him, like an amazing date, like probably what would have been like one of Zoe's ideal dates. Like it was very reminiscent of things that I actually wrote on this list that I really value exclusive type experiences where we get to like talk and have really depthy chats, but we're like, it's almost like we're in very special places in the world and the world kind of melts away as we move into deep conversation. And what was really interesting was that this person was about 80% of my list. So it was almost like in receiving that just a few days after I created this list, it was like the universe was sending me another wink and a nudge and was like, all we wanted you to do so was open up to the possibility was to choose expansion versus contraction and decide that this could be possible for you. Not just that it could be possible, but it is inevitable for you and to start choosing to believe in success in this area of your life versus choosing to contract or hide or be in disbelief about yourself. And so this person was about 80% of my list. So I could feel into this person isn't my person, but what was really great about this experience was that this person was even more that was on my list. So after I went on this date, I went back to my list and I started to add more things to it and I started to adjust it a little bit because this person I could feel into was like, let's say 80%. And what I noticed about my list was that as I was channeling this person, there was a lot that came through, but the place in which I felt the most inhibited about writing into was that this person was deeply spiritual and 
focused on continuous expansion and growth in the spiritual path. And what I experienced on this date with this individual is there was no small talk. We were right in the depths of spirituality and some of our most profound experiences of life on planet Earth. Like we just went there and it was so effortless and so easy to the point where I've never actually had that experience with someone. I've had depthy levels of conversation but at this point in my life I found myself at a new level of depth and awareness about the spiritual journey and myself as a soul and we were like right there like he was a vibrational match to that and I didn't think that that existed and also I didn't think that existed with the other attributes mainly being an entrepreneur right because I've seemed to have met entrepreneurs who aren't exactly the same level of depth of spirituality as me and like it's fine everyone's perfect everyone's on their own journey and and all of that but I've met the entrepreneur type and then I've also met the deeply spiritual type but I haven't quite met a gentleman in between somebody who is a highly successful entrepreneur and focused on expansion and growth who came here to create all sorts of wonderful things in the world and then also someone who is deeply focused on and continuously on the journey of the soul's evolution and so this person was that those things incredibly successful and aspirational and a visionary and also deeply deeply spiritual to an extent like i've never had conversations with a man that were that depthy not to mention that depthy so fast So this was a beautiful reflection for me because I felt like the universe was like, Zoe, you've got more permission here to go back to your list and write into this spiritual divine counterpart that you desire because you are worthy of it. I don't think that I felt that it it was possible or that I was fully worthy of receiving that, of the divine counterpart who wants to create visionary, magical businesses and travel the world and also be deeply spiritual and focused on continuously evolving that i just i didn't know it existed so this was a very powerful experience for me and yes this person like i said was was 80 but not my person the power that came from writing the list was also that i felt into the ability to trust myself that i would know when i met this person because some of you might be able to relate who have been in abusive relationships in the past or toxic type relationships in the past is that i worried will I be able to know if I can choose or meet the person that's more aligned with me and not fall into previous ways of being where someone shows interest in me and then maybe I question am I interested in them no 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 this is about me identifying what I desire completely bringing clarity to that and then trusting myself that no it's not just going to be the next person who shows me interest it's going to be the person that is the divine soul that I've been feeling into right? So what I found is that I could see that this is a divine being. This is a divine masculine, but this is not my divine masculine. And I can still respect this person, of course, like bless this person. So grateful to have made this connection. But I can also recognize that no, it's not exactly my person. And I can trust myself that I will make the right choice and that I am not settling and will not settle because I know that this person exists. I know that he's here walking around on planet earth. I will not settle. In that, I feel very strongly that, you know, sometimes I do feel like I wish that my person was here right now. Sometimes I just simply desire a hug. But I also trust that when that person comes into my life, it will be not a second sooner, not a second later. And it will be at its most divine timing. So... I hope that this episode today inspired you guys and I would love to end this episode with an invitation for you into Lo and Zoe's latest program, which is Imperfect and Prosperous. It's all about ushering in the new paradigm of ease and relaxed receptivity in love, life, and finances. This is an eight-week program and it is going to change your life, especially those of you who have been in the Quantum Creators course. This is the Quantum Creator Course's sister program. It's not required to be a QC Squared alumni to enter into this, but it is going to be, oh my gosh, just an accelerator. It's going to be profound and it's going to be life-changing. So I would love to see you inside stepping into and remembering your power like never before and creating relaxed receptivity and ease just by being your most divine self. Have a beautiful and abundant day and I will talk to you soon. 
Thanks for listening to Note to Self. If you enjoyed this episode, please help me out by rating and reviewing this show on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. If my energy is resonating with you and you feel the call to work with me, there are an abundance of ways to do so. I offer one-to-one life coaching programs, mastermind containers, and DIY courses, all of which are available through my website, zoeariel.co. Until next time, take note of all the abundance that surrounds you as you make the most of this game called life.